Welcome to a demonstration of EY's Integrated Mobility Solution Platform, or IMSP. It's our vision for the future of global mobility. IMSP is our innovative approach to delivering a new level of user experience, backed with data-driven insights. Delivered via a single platform, our integrated mobility ecosystem will add more agility to your workforce, help manage the compliance footprint of your short-term business travellers and help you achieve your business goals. We have built this prototype based on feedback from our clients, their business needs and assignees. Using three different user journeys, we will demonstrate how this platform is designed to create a seamless mobility program. So, let's get started with the employee journey. First, let's examine the screen orientation. You can see a navigation panel on the left-hand side. The fields here are dynamic, so only the relevant services are shown based on the employee's context. There is a status bar at the top, which provides an at-a-glance view of information. We have actions down the right-hand side, which provide visibility of open workflows, where employees are in the process, what's been completed and what's due from them. We have contacts presented to the employee based on their trip or assignee context and it's a very simple way to access their relevant contacts. We also have an assistant, which provides relevant information and FAQs to assist employees throughout their experience. So, examining the Actions panel, we can see that Lisa is undergoing a work permit application. She's currently in the data collection phase and has submitted her power of attorney. However, what's missing is her passport document. So, what she can do is click on the Upload Passport button, very quickly submit a scan of her passport from a number of different devices, which would then be saved in the document catalogue for future use. The Actions panel is updated automatically to show that the passport has been submitted. This helps manage compliance. As you can see here, the Travel Watch Alert informs employees of thresholds and limits that may impact them. Employees are alerted to potential risks and support is provided when required. This means they can make better decisions about their travel. Revisiting the employee portal at a later stage of the assignment lifecycle, we can see Lisa needs to take further action. In this case, it's her Brazil tax return for FY18 and for her repatriation. So, for the Brazil tax return, we need to have a look at her calendar and start to complete some of her work activities. Usually, adding calendar information requires significant manual effort in order to ensure accurate completion. However, we designed a calendar that associates information from different sources with activities to automate calendar completion. We can also retrieve and add information from additional new sources. Let's choose Outlook in this case. The tool learns to associate certain calendar events and locations with specific activities by asking a series of questions. By creating a rule engine, it's then able to automate calendar completion. The user can review suggested entries, develop inputs, and facilitate the tool's learning process. We can see that Lisa can view her calendar by either monthly or full year summary. This means she can filter to review assigned locations, gaps in the calendar entries and trip information at a high level. She can also inspect the rationale behind suggested calendar entries to retrospectively review the inputs. Another way to complete the tax organiser is by leveraging information collected through the employee's experience, including briefings and previously submitted organisers. Documents stored in the Document Center can be scanned using optical character recognition in order to further complete the tax organizer. We can see here that information from an individual's pay statement is scanned through optical character recognition. The key information is captured. Lisa then validates that information and it's used to help complete the organizer. We know employees often find it difficult to know which advisor to contact within their own organisation or at EY. 
So, we have devised a simple contact management system to enable phone calls, instant messaging, or the ability to book a call at a later date with the contacts in question. This eliminates any back and forth over emails and provides a better customer experience. We've also introduced a smart chatbot to provide instant assistance to users with queries 24-7. For example, we can ask it questions like, when is my tax return due? We can see here the answer is 31 January and we get some insights with regards to the liability that is expected. We're also able to ask wider questions such as, where's the best place to live in New York? And we're sent a link to further information. Moving on, let's look at the operational corporate mobility user, Hans. A landing page is provided to view operational information collated from multiple sources which displays the relevant tasks, updates and information. Information is customised based on what the user wants to see and is based on a more operational task-based view to enable the management of mobile employees. Visibility of tasks, upcoming deadlines, risks and relevant insights are provided, as well as the ability to self-service tasks from the home page. For example, tax authorizations. For example, here Hans can click on tax payments. A pop-out will show us an extract from the payment database for the payments that need to be approved. Each of the payments can be authorised by clicking on the approved field and the database would be updated based on this action. Moreover, Hans can click on the five non-compliant employees. A pop-out shows the employees which are not compliant and the associated compliance issue. Hans can click on one example employee here to view information on the issue within the employee profile section. In the employee profile section, Hans has a clear aggregated view of employee information, which helps reduce time trying to locate, resolve and escalate issues. It provides clear status and cost information for the employee. Employees can be contacted directly and their mobility contacts can be viewed. Hans can expand on the complete and incomplete tax returns for the UK and Bolivia for this individual to see more information on their status. We can expand on the home and host salary cost to see more information as well. In the Knowledge Center, Hans can see relevant technical updates provided to the corporate users. Videos, training and client-specific materials can all be stored here. Updates can be tailored based on their data. Access to training resources are provided. Multimedia resources can be uploaded. Relevant training courses and contact details are also available. We also understand that it can be difficult to manage and monitor tasks across different parties and sources, such as services and vendors. So, we've provided a single place to manage tasks based on real-time information updated by mobility services integrating with externally provided services. Initiation of a new service can be completed in one place, and in Task Manager, workflows and actions can be viewed opened, filtered, approved and assigned. Let's take a look at initiating a new service here. I can type in the name of the individual, enter their base salary and select which services they need. As a strategic corporate user, the home page shows a view of the whole mobility program, integrating data from multiple sources. Operational pages within one consistent portal provides access to summary information for all mobility services and data insights through a more strategic lens. On the strategic user homepage, Emma can see a customised view of key data pulled from across the program, vendors and existing EY reporting, insights on market and client relevant information through her Did You Know section. Leading to further information on the Insight portal, Emma also has an at-a-glance view of the mobility program status, including the state of compliance. By clicking the At Risk bar, Emma can quickly send a notification to mobility managers about at-risk employees. In the Operations section, we have a screen that provides a modular view which is customised so key information is prioritised and displayed prominently. 
Emma can use a drop-down menu on the graph to select different views, whether that be income tax withholding, employees' social security or deadlines. Furthermore, we're able to provide the same view for other services, such as immigration, compensation and business travel. In the immigration section, there is a clear view of the current status and the required actions. Different immigration risks can be viewed for relevant countries using a drop-down filter and immigration risk can be tracked per assignee and employee profiles will be able to be viewed in the future. In the compensation section, different compensation cost profiles can be viewed for different business units and geographies depending on the filter. Data aggregation tables check the information has been reviewed from different sources and the user is able to see what has been actioned. In the business traveller section, the current status is clear and required actions are easily viewed and understood. Different business traveller risks are shown for relevant countries using a drop-down filter and the business traveller risk can be tracked per assignee and employee profiles will be able to be viewed in the future. In the Insights section, Emma is able to view key insights and trends by looking at the Mobility Program data sources. Actionable insights are available based on data and trend analysis and data is presented within key themes. For example, program, talent and industry analysis. Hypothetical scenarios are posted in a scenario analysis section which helps clients to think and test potential events to support planning decisions. Data reports can be exported to empower corporate users and users are able to contact the EY analytics team for more personalised insights. This concludes the demonstration. We are keen to get your feedback on the elements which you feel would be of most value to your mobility program and we welcome the opportunity to collaborate with you to develop your future mobility program.